to the view. Joy is out this week. You know why? She finally got COVID. Yeah, she's she three years, four years in. It finally got her. She can stop bragging now. That's yeah. right. That's right. About her special blood That's type right. and all of that. Yes. That's right. But filling in is the fabulous, wonderful, amazing event, the Cold Brew. You know, now attributing whatever thing Vivid said, you know, like conspiracy theory, though he said a lot of things which I don't want to go deep into, the view had a segment pertaining to this. I decided to put out this video so you can see their mindset partaking to VV. It has reached a certain level when I see these people, you know, giving out political commentaries. Majority of these people are supporting Nikki Haley. National polls, of course, Trump by and by and away is ahead. But the reality is, you guys know that of the candidates, Nikki Haley is the one I probably resonate with the most. And I'd say I only agree with her about 70% of the time. There's We have major differences on whether it's trans issues, LGBTQ issues. But I think that she's somebody who's a responsible person on day one who's not going to threaten American well, she democracy. Won't be a nightmare I'll like settle Trump. for that. Let's put it that but way. But here's the thing there is a lane for her. She's moving up in Iowa. She's in second place there. If she can get out independence in New Hampshire, if she can get the backing of someone like Governor Sununu and then go and perform well in her home state, that is the way to stop Donald Trump. There's only three ways to stop him. A GOP primary, the courts, which I'm not convinced are going to stop him before election time, day, yeah. or the general election. So I'm yeah. for anybody who's going to be able to. But I want to say one thing because we had to play Vivek Ramaswamy. Oh. This man is contemptible. He is a charlatan and he is a fraud, but he's Those also dangerous. Those are his good points. Good he, went, points. <laughs> he went on television last night and started spousing the, uh, spousing the racist, yeah. bigoted, great replacement theory. Yeah. And it wasn't called oh, out by second. any of the he moderators. Did he did a fat joke in the middle of a presidential debate. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Well, leave that, Trump. leave Trump. that to the comedians. And I think there wasn't a lot of fact checking going on. I mean, they oh. were just, it was like, a, it, was, it was very enjoyable to watch because it was almost it was. like it was watching funny. children play but I, I i think what what yeah somebody said leave that to trump trump is a comedian according to these people then i don't understand why when he says some they take it too personal that is where they're attributing that vivid is actually following trump full step Okay. It's frankly disappointing and unpalatable that we keep being subjected to uh, what I see is, has become behavior as a court jester. And when Vivek talked about, you know, wisdom versus experience, is it hubris where he thinks the wisdom is himself? Like, there has to be a line drawn. Um, I, his, his, I just think that the behavior is unbecoming of anyone who thinks they should sit in the Oval Office. And given the fact of how many years we've been subjected to unruly behavior, behavior that's disheartening, disappointing, exhausting over and over again, that just underscores that. That just feeds into it. That does not give us a refreshing change of events. Uh, something is happening here. I believe you heard her. Democrat, Republicans are standing up against Vivi. Vivid replied to this lady, Nikki Haley calls Vivid doom. Mainstream media girl power, yes, queen. Vivid shows Nikki Haley is clueless about Ukraine. Mainstream media, this behavior is unbecoming. Okay, you can see the spin here. Which was full of mudslinging. Yeah. Mudslinging. And Nick, if you can't tell the difference between where Israel is and the U.S. is on a map, I can have my three-year-old son show you the difference. This is the fourth debate, the fourth debate that you would be voted in the first 20 minutes as the most obnoxious blowhard in America. I've known her for 12 years, which is longer than he's even started to vote in a Republican primary. This is a smart, accomplished woman. You should stop insulting her. So do everybody a favor. Just walk yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, race. Yeah, yeah. Her donors, these Wall Street liberal donors, Donors, they make money in China. They are not going to let her be tough on China, and she will cave to the donors. He's mad because wa those Wall Street donors used to support him, and now they support me. Nikki is corrupt. This is a woman who will send your kids to die so she can buy a bigger house. Would you like to respond? No. It, it's not worth my time to respond to him. Yeah. Yes. When you see a CNN walker, you will know. You don't even need to debate. This guy worked with CNN. What did the panel think of Vivek Ramaswamy's 
performance at the debate this week. It, it was in, in one answer, he managed to connect every conspiracy theory from the 21st century. Well, that's from, cool. From, from 9-11. Well, it, except it was clearly a dog whistle to folks on the far right to sort of connect 9-11, say January 6th was an inside job, to talk about the great replacement theory uh, and, and saying it was a Democratic Party platform. Uh, and, and to say and to repeat 2020 election lies, which are now a litmus test within the party. That symbolizes everything wrong in our politics. It's totally disgusting. It's disqualifying. It's pathetic, and it's pandering. He's done. You have to you have to be pretty scared to start connecting more and more and more conspiracy theories together. I mean, there's got to be like a limit to where you know once you've had. You can clearly see his mindset. You know, now attributing whatever thing Vivid said. You know, like conspiracy theory, though he said a lot of things which I don't want to go deep into. I don't know why these people are so triggered. This is a debate. You give your opinion, I counter up. That is how it's supposed to be. But when I see these people going off on Vivid, they have not mentioned Ron DeSantis, Chris Christie, you know, they don't even talk about these people. The real person they are afraid of is Vivid. There is no person sitting here that can tell you is supporting Vivi or the support is Nikki Haley. That is the truth. If you look through now, ask yourself why are these people actually hating him because he supports Trump? What he says, a lot of people are afraid to say it. Usually get him. That is the point I realized with most of this. Bimaha is just saying the same thing. Vivid should stand where he's standing. He should not change his position because to me, if you are afraid of these Libras, you know, like they will criticize you, you are not doing anything right. When I see a candidate that is being criticized by most of these people, then I stand with that person. I know you are saying the right thing. Do not everything I support with Vivi. There are a lot of things that I disagree with him, but he's having that heart to call out these people. Like Nikki Haley, I've seen a lot of, you know, billionaires that are supporting her. These are the same people that will control her when she is standing there. Yeah, they will tell her, don't do this, don't do that, because you know they're the one that elected you, so you need to respect them. You know, whatever thing they tell you, you just go along the way. Our next guest watching tonight's debate with a few university students, and Frank Luntz joins us now. Frank, good to see you. I'm wondering, what are some of the students that were with you saying about what they heard tonight? Well, first, they thought that it was a little bit rougher. They were entertained. Mm. They thought the exchanges were a little bit rougher than what they were hoping for in a presidential contest. Second, they felt that there was too many sound bites, which is obvious for those of us political consultants who help in situations like this, and not enough of policies. They thought that Chris Christie won. And the reason why is that they felt that he was the most direct. They answered the questions honestly and candidly, and that he held other candidates' feet to the fire. We've been waiting for this performance for some time. Chris Christie proved that he is not just a brilliant debater, but he knows how to hold the other candidates accountable. That is a perfect segue for what I was just about to ask you about.